Goldilocks Productions provides professional internet, TV, and radio shows in the spiritual and new age genre. Thank you, everyone, for joining in, whether you're watching live through uh, Facebook on the Goldilocks Productions Facebook page. You, even if you can, um, it's going to be shared on my personal profile as well. Um, the only thing is, is that I will not be able to see your comments if you comment on my page. I mean, on my personal profile. So make sure you are watching and commenting from the Goldilocks Productions Facebook page. So that way I'm able to see everyone's comments and that's going to be most helpful for uh, when I do give some messages later on to everyone who is watching, of course. Uh, so, and of course, you can listen live. This is being recorded to radio on Spreaker. So, there's so many ways that you can watch this. And of course, can't forget about the archive uh, viewers who are watching from um, YouTube. At, you know at a later date thank you all sacred space has been set for each and every one of you so thank you everyone for joining in this evening i uh, just want to share some things with you before we get really because when i get into it i get carried away and i forget to promote myself i forget to let you know where to find me and my website is whitesagewoman.com so that's um where you can find me and uh So, uh, <laughs> oh, this is so funny. <laughs> okay, so I'm reading the comments, and and the uh, yeah, the gremlins, 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 nice files. Thank you. So you, <laughs> um, Goldilocks Productions page is I'm not I'm not the only admin. I have some other members as well. Those that want to uh, that are technically so. It threw me off with the, oh, hi, how are you? <laughs> like, what nice plows and gremlins. And I'm like, I didn't post that. <gasps> oh, funny. All right. So thank you, team, team spirit. My team is here. <laughs> our team. Oh, well, we're all one. Right. We're all one. It's our team. Woo! Just saying. You're sweet. Thank you. Um, so good evening, everyone. All beautiful people. Uh, oh, thank you, Tammy so much yeah i know sometimes you can't always catch the show so i'm glad you were here live and that hubby is home tonight too yay yeah he was called in or to work earlier right so i'm glad that you're catching so yay catching the show good evening julia uh good evening everyone and good evening wendy i love when everybody interacts with each other um hello kimberly and there he is. Hello, Lewis. How are you? Hello, Sheila. I like to just give these shout outs. It's important because all of you are important. Each and every one of you are very, very important to me. And hopefully you make some new friends in the comments. All right. And so I would like to just recommend that everyone please comment, like, and share Share this video, like the Goylox Productions page, of course, comment. Comments is good. Uh, you interact with each other. And then I this is very interactive, so I will ask questions. I would love for your feedback. Okay, so please uh, be sure to comment, like, and share. And I appreciate all, everyone being interactive with me. This is a great, great show. This is a way for us to um, to grow together right absolutely so um i always like to start the show off with a crystal and gemstone message for the week and these are messages from the earth from uh, i always like that the earth is pachamama sky is pachatata so i always like to you know this is the Mother Earth most definitely is alive right and the, the pachamama so um, that's like the, all the gemstones and the crystals and the rocks, all the living beings, they're all alive and they have messages for us. All right, so the crystal gemstone of the week is mukite. 
Mookite. And I put the word up for you so you can Google it if you're not familiar with what this looks like. All right, it's very beautiful. All of them are beautiful. How can you say one's ugly? I mean, come on. They're all very beautiful. But Mookite is a stone of timelessness. It connects you to the moment and living in the here and the now. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, a, a lot of us, I mean, we're all star seeds. Um, the ones that have a harder time grounding and being here are the ones that have had less lives on this earth plane. The ones that have been here on this earth plane for a lot, I would say the veterans really love this earth, really have, have become one with this earth. And even though we may be tired of the same stuff repeating itself time after time the war the uh ah uh, just on and on we're still here because we haven't given up at all all right and 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 we're, we're still we're still on board <laughs> we're still on board absolutely so um that is the message from mukite Stay in the here and the now, the stone of timelessness. Add this to your collection if you don't have it already. Now the uh, spirit power animal of the week is Bobcat. Woo, Bobcat. <laughs> and just as I say, the spirit power animal message, or who what that is, who comes in but Walking Crow, Anthony Rodriguez. Oh, ho. <laughs> oh, if you do not know who Anthony Rodriguez, Walking Crow is, you really need to catch his shows live on Tuesdays. I know it might be a hard time. It's 4 p.m. Eastern Time, 1 p.m. Pacific Time, but you can always catch his replays. And it is... Um, fantastic he is a fantastic shaman shamanic drummer healer he has wonderful messages as well and so most definitely try to catch his show it's the transformational sacred drum medicine show now if you want to keep in touch with all the Guadalajara production shows just like this page and you will get all of the posts and reminders of the upcoming shows so again, the spirit power animal of the week is Bobcat. Now here's some great characteristics of the Bobcat. When, when the animals give us a message, we want to sit with them, interact with them. And what message do you have for us? So the Bobcat can see clearly, has clear vision and dark places. So it's encouraging us. This isn't just physical excellent vision. It's also what? Intuitive vision. So let's use that intuitively too. Dark places. Hey, we all have very dark places within us, don't we? <laughs> Absolutely we do. Um, so what helps us? Within us, without us, for dark, dark places. Clear vision, clear sight. Represents the seeking of ancient mystical mysteries. Ooh. Um, it's the ability to live in solitude. So think about this for a moment, to live in solitude. Because a lot of people are like, well, I want to have somebody to do things with and all of that. Absolutely you do. But when you get to that point of where you're, you could be totally comfortable living in solitude, do you know what that means? You're comfortable with you. You're comfortable and love yourself enough to be with you. You, you're happy. You're complete by yourself. It doesn't mean you, you can't go out and have a good time with anyone else. But just know that that's a great place and space to be. All right. And the Bobcat also has the ability to see through masks. Let's get in. That's part of that seeing in the dark. Uh, what's the intention of this person? I'm not going to be fooled by a pretty mask. I'm going to go right to the root of it. Okay, and so got more people coming in. Hello, Stephen, how are wow. you? Wow, thank you so much. I'm honored for you to be tuning in. I know what a busy man you are. And uh, <laughs> of course, you're welcome. 
Anthony Rodriguez walking crow. And if anyone needs any um, fresh California white sage, all right, you need to contact Anthony Rodriguez. You can friend him here on Facebook, or you can check out his website, uh, transformationalsacreddrum.com. And if I got that wrong, let me know. <laughs> Just friend him here. Get in touch with him because he gets the white sage. He blesses it. He bundles it together for you. And let me tell you, you want to be very careful where you're getting your spiritual supplies and the energy behind it. And I can totally validate and, and stand behind uh, Anthony Rodriguez's uh, white sage sticks. Very, And they're they're big sticks too. You're not getting oh, for the price anyway. All right. Um, hello, Sarah from the three of, of us. Yes, Sarah uh, and her husband uh, Anthony, and then their son Austin. Austin, I am so honored. Is my youngest fan, my youngest viewer. He's one years old. So Austin, if you're watching me, hi Austin. Mwah. <laughs> Oh, and welcome, Cheryl. Thank you. First time listening. First time. Thank you so much. I'm really grateful and honored that you're here. All right. So, <laughs> oh, this is so much fun. It's, 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 it's a weekly reunion, isn't it? It's great. It's like a spiritual support group. That's how I would love for you to view this show as a spiritual support group we are all still you're in the comfort of your homes or wherever you're viewing and we're sitting together we're all receiving healing giving and receiving healing exchanging uh messages with each other it's all great fantastic so the thing i would like to share with you this evening hopefully not a sneeze <laughs> but it might be cutting on hold on oh oh excuse me for just one moment oh Oh my goodness, that's good. Sneezing, burping. Oh, let the energy go through your body. Yeah. Woo. All right. <laughs> anyway, I, for those of you who are friends with me on Facebook, or even if uh, you like my uh, other page, which is Goldilocks Temple of Healing, um, I shared a blog post today. And um, I'm sorry, I shared a post today on the Go to Locks Temple of Healing Facebook page and my personal Facebook page. And it, I thought it was very well written. I, I loved what this, what this man had said, um, this author. And I'm going to share it with you because I've talked about this, I think, a couple of shows ago. But it's always right at home. This is what I'm talking about when... When it's um, when I'm talking about balancing and why it's important to be balanced, and oh, thank you so much, sweetie. God bless you too. You know what? May you remember and know how much God blesses us all on a daily basis. All right. So, uh, absolutely, absolutely. That we just said the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> kind of, you know, God bless always. Absolutely, we're always blessed. All right, we need to remember that. So I found this was intriguing. This article is by, I'm going to share, because you can go to his website and follow his blog, or he's got some really great stuff, too. I love sharing. We need to all be together and share, and it's we all have unique individual ways of, of sharing our gifts anyway. So it's not like, ooh, I have to be the one to say this. I'm only going to share my stuff. Oh, no way. I'm going to share everyone of uh, page, the light workers or high vibrational beings or just everyone that I feel is is supportive in, in helping us all um, to grow and expand together. So what I liked about this, what caught me, what caught my attention was this title that he had. I'm going to leave his name up here in case you want to write it down or you want to Google him later. Um Spiritual people don't say F-U-C-K, or do they? Now, I'm going to tell you, uh, because I'm on the show, 
<laughs> and, and I'm the producer too. <laughs> so there's some kind of etiquette. If we were face to face, I'd say the word with no problem. But I'm trying to be respectful right now because this, you know. All right. So anyway, uh, I thought it was great. Great title. Great. Let, let me read this. Uh, so why is that so shocking? Uh, why should that, of all things, make any difference to anyone? Because we're all afraid to reveal who we really are. And sometimes spiritual people don't say F-U-C-K. We've been handed this idea of what it means to be spiritual, haven't we? What does spiritual mean to you? To be peaceful, transcendent, free from emotion? I don't agree with that. Not free from emotion. I mean, you deny emotion. Um, and free from ego personality. No, ego is a part of you. I've always said this. If we weren't meant to use ego, emotions, we wouldn't have been given them from God, from Creator, right? It's balancing these. It's, I embrace this. And, and that's not what he's saying, but this is how some people think that's what spirituality is, and they try to, to mold themselves that way, okay? And that's the danger in, in trying to do that. Well, this is what this means to be spiritual. It's easy to be spiritual. It's easy to be pleasant and peaceful and unaffected. It's so easy to pretend, isn't it? It's easy because it's safe and it's fake. And it comes with the roadmap. It does, doesn't it? Oh, hello, Sandy. Thank you so much. Another first time viewer. Thank you, Sandy. Yay! Um, for everyone who are viewing, there's several new um, viewers here. Uh, please hang on. Uh, because what I do at the um, end of the show, too, or I dedicate the, the last part of the show to giving messages to everyone here. And we we stay till everyone's taken care of, too, okay? So I'm make, trying to make sure that no one's left out. Uh, Louise, I say fudge. It's okay if you say fudge. That's great. It's an expression, whether what word we use or not. F-U-C-K... S-H-I-T, whatever, all right? Again, I am reading this article um, by Zach Herbert, if you would like to, those of you who would like to know that. Um, um, yeah, to know who this is written by, who I'm reading right here. Uh, so that's what I'm talking about is the fakeness of what we think spiritual, spiritual and spirituality is. So all we have to do is follow the stereotype and project the right image when in doubt, just smile. Um, just smile and say, Namaste. All right. So, really, that's scary, isn't it? Isn't it scary? So, we all want more than anything to be ourselves, to express ourselves, to be seen and accepted and appreciate for what we have to offer. But we're afraid that if we do express ourselves, if we do reveal who we really are, the people in our lives will reject us and abandon us. They don't want to see. They won't accept. You know, and I've heard a lot of people say that as they, as they expand and grow spiritually, that they lose people who are no longer in the same vibration with them. And that's okay don't just look at what you're losing. How about what you're gaining as well? Because you're gaining, you're, you're finding your soul family and you're connecting with others like, instead of like-minded, like-hearted. It's sacred heart center, right? And yes, I think that's true. It is the intention that you use with it. Absolutely. And we can tell someone's intention. You should be able to. All right. Um, so it's part of knowing that we're going to lose some people. We, we may. All right. Um, sometimes it's the people who really matter. I mean, it could be your parents or it could be your best friend or your lover. No matter how hard you try, some people will just reject you. 
And the more you are who you truly are, the more rejection you're going to face. Because the most beautiful thing about you, the thing most likely to offend others is you. Your truth, who you are, what you represent. Scary. Yes, but here's the good part. Having a personality, being an actual person, lets people form an opinion. Yes, and these are great comments coming in. Helps you to form an opinion. Uh, yeah, Sandy, that's right. How we react is our choice. How we observe is key. There is a difference between reacting and response. Think about that for a moment. We react, it's right off the cuff. A response is that count to 10, then respond. Um, and we should observe. Exactly. I love this. I used to tell my dad cussing didn't help the situation. He said, well, it helped me. And it took me a while to understand that as an expression. It's also a release. I know for me personally, it's a release. All right. Because I feel the not if something upsets me and deep in my uh, womb, deep or deep in my, let me say my, my lower chakras. And if I don't express that and get that knot out, <clears throat> It stays in my body and it hurts. All right. So it's okay. Let people say it and express and they just move on. And they just move on. Um, cussing is expression, but I totally get it now. Exactly. I now once in a while that's okay. I mean, I do have an issue with every other word. <laughs> And there are people out there that's just going to shut you down. Who's not going to listen to you or anything at all, you know? Um, so, and when you do hear people like that, you kind of just want to stop listening at that point because there is so much anger behind what they're saying. And it's like, whoo, I'm hearing the anger. I'm feeling the anger back off just a minute. I got to sell it healthy boundaries. Right. But it's okay to, you know, so you, so you say once in a while, okay, that, that's fine, whatever. All right? Um, I love this. It, it's, um, so we talked about the rejection part. All right? Um, I personally don't actually fit the spiritual stereotype. And I wasn't really sure what to do when I first started either, and neither did this author. He, he says that. Uh he wasted a lot of time trying to figure out how not to offend the the old spiritual but not religious crowd. Um, I was sure my ideas would help them, but I was also sure that my personality would rub the wrong way. And so I keep trying to figure out how to, how to take me out of the equation. It was difficult and depressing, and it had me stuck for quite a while. The turning point came when I attended a New Age Expo in Nashville a few years ago. I remember walking around this giant room looking for anything different or interesting. I found costumed gurus, costume psychics, crystal peddlers, and approximately 270,000 certified Reiki masters. And I thought, these are not the people I want to spend the rest of my life hanging out with. What the heck am I going to do? I have to tell you, I laugh when I read this, because that was my first impression too, was like, what? But I love the expos. I mean, don't get me wrong. I absolutely love expos. Oh, but, <laughs> but that was the authors too. Uh, so what I like more than anything, the, the more you reveal yourself, uh, the more you realize that authentic, authenticity is the point it's not spiritual it's not evolved it's not enlightened but authentic authentic and i like that i love it all right um it's different for everyone it really is for this author it means goofy pictures that express his personality and the tagline lets people form an opinion uh, for you it could be something completely different and a spiritual crowd so far they're predictably offended. They hide their shock, polit uh, politely dismiss themselves, and go back to not staying with their friends. Now, this is true. This is called spiritual bypass. This We've talked about this before in past shows where you're blinded by the light. Um, so, 
don't do that either. <laughs> Let's go from one extreme to the next. There's a big difference between being spiritual and being spiritual, right? Uh, the question is, why are you here? What is it that you're looking for? If you want to let go of negative emotions, no, you don't let go of negative emotions. You have to work through them and bring yourself to a place of balance. Balance. All right. Spirituality isn't safe. It isn't easy and it isn't smooth. It will change you. You'll wake up. You'll break down. You'll you'll cry. You'll lie. You'll laugh. You'll fight. You'll curse. <laughs> right? But it won't be safe because you have to operate outside your comfort zone in order to really know your authentic self. You have to come out of your comfort zone, right? So um, that was his article. I thought that was really good. Um, again, by Zach Herbert. Um, we'll talk a little bit more about that and read some more of the comments because it, it really, really is important that we um, share who we truly are, you know? Um Okay, so let me read some more. Um, I'll have more people coming. To, Hello, Maureen. Hello, beautiful. Right back at you. <laughs> so, uh, all right. See, what, it, what I have to say is strong enough. I don't need to beat up language. There you go. And, you know, I find people go through different phases. Again, the angry phase, I feel, is every other word you don't know how to express yourself so you just explode and whatever comes out comes out and i've been there i understand what that is and then having to i think this is what's helped me in having a radio and tv show is to get my point across without having to curse all right now when i'm in the safety and comfort of my own home sure something may slip not every other word but you know it may slip and especially if i'm watching sports i am a bit i am competitive <laughs> that's a side you may not know about me uh but uh, you know if i'm watching hockey or football oh forget it <laughs> and uh, <laughs> yeah that's a different side of tiffany <laughs> anyway and we can be more creative than cussing every other word Absolutely, we can. And we can get our point across more effectively. And like I said, even though I don't um, take offense to anyone um, that lets a, um, a, a curse word slip through or, or judge them by the way they look, they could be tattooed, they could look like a biker, but could be the biggest teddy bear, the most gentle, loving person ever. This is why we don't judge that mask. Look beyond that. And the words that come out of our mouths, right? Mm. And the expressions. I find these people get more comfortable in their own skin and then comfortable communicating with everyone. Then they kind of calm down. And so um, I like that. Yeah, yeah. I try turning... Uh, cussing words into funny words is like what the flip. Uh, absolutely. All right. Now, so I may be revealing my age. Remember the remember Bo Battlestar Galactica? They didn't say F U C K. They said frack. <laughs> so sure, we can make up funny words too. Make up words. Absolutely. Yes. Uh, reflection of sincerity. We can feel deeply of love. Yes. 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 I love all this. This is great. See, here we go. Let's get to sharing and interaction. Um, I normally don't cuss because I'm angry. Even then I'll say things like you do. Yes, but that's good, though, because we shouldn't keep the anger inside of us. We shouldn't swallow that anger because if we hold it in our bodies, what happens? That creates dis-ease, right? We don't want to create that dis-ease, okay? Uh, so... It's good to get it out. All right. Uh, I love this, Julia. Well, I'm only 5'3", and she can swear like a sailor. <laughs> I love it. I know, right? If I make a sailor blush going, wow, what? <laughs> but you know what? 
people knew where she, they stood with her. She was expressing her authenticity. Ooh. All right. Um, speaking up for myself is definitely an area I need to work on. Express yourself. Absolutely it is, Julia. Um, you have been giving so much of yourself all your life. This is Julia's time. This is express yourself. This is find your voice and speak. You know, so, and, uh, you know, maybe your aunt's right behind you helping you. <laughs> that's funny. Let me stop that. Oh, my goodness. That's funny. <laughs> and let's, see, um, let's see. I like that I still have some on my edge. Let's others know that I am authentic. Exactly. You are authentic. And that's what I'm trying to, you know, there you go. You are authentic. You're not a cookie cutter person, are you? No way. No one here watching this is a cookie cutter type of person. If you're watching, you're listening, you're experiencing these these shows and these this spiritual time together, uh, we are authentic selves, all right? Um, Releasing anger sometimes helps heal the situation. Absolutely, it does. It really does. And it's, um, it is what you have to be careful that, that you surround yourself with people that, that can. I love to tell you, I burned when I was expressing my anger when it first came out. It was woo, in your face, loud, rude, sailor. And I burned a lot of bridges because the people that didn't. The people that told me that they got offended, I'm like, middle finger, F you. This is who I am. You don't like it? Leave. A lot of people left my life at that time. <laughs> but you know what? That was fine. I knew that I was maybe over the top rough, but like a diamond, I had to be smoothed out. I had to be put in the fire. I had to release my anger, learn how to release my anger effectively to become the person that I am now, right? And, um, yeah, that is funny how some people can swear so fluently and effortly, just like it's regular speaking for them. Right. But, yeah, that's true. <laughs> some people do. And, again, I'm not a – that's – that's, that's, and I do feel there's a time and a place for it. There, there, there really is. Um and like I said, the, the shows, I try to be very careful uh, how I represent myself and speaking. And I know this is much different than if you go to an actual TV studio or an actual brick and mortar TV studio or radio, they are bound by FCC regulations and you drop the F-bomb and you're done in the business, right? Um, but on this internet now, uh, I mean, we're okay if we said it, you know, but it's still, I'm being respectful to all the viewers who maybe just don't like it. And that's fine. Um, and that's fine too. I, I respect that. And, uh, I do like to tell you a funny story. <laughs> I mean, we are all human. Hello, human. You know, we, as, as to, to quote Anthony Rodriguez, walking crow, hello, human. We are, um authentically human and so i have a funny story to tell is that one time um a, a, a friend of mine we were out and this is someone i did expose with we, we would go, we do readings together we work together we were in the spiritual realm and field a lot and um and then we did personal things too and even hanging out, per, you know, uh, just having fun time, personal time, whatever, uh, you know, it was all good. Um, you know, know her family and, and everything. Uh, and so then one time, though, her and I were out and we went through the drive through um, donkeys. We went through a drive through with donkeys. And this particular one had a really weird setup. It was like window one was window one window two was really too close to window one and so it's um you know it was like all right you couldn't fit someone at window one and window two at the same time they wanted to keep move 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 you had to wait um so 
but window one, they would take your money and give you any drinks that you had. And so they forgot. She's like, Oh, I can't make the drinks for you right here. Just go to window two. So I went to window two when it created this backup and someone behind me got really rude honking, carrying on. Now this person was <laughs> getting out of the car, making a scene, F bombs, this, that, and the other. Right. And, and then was driving slowly by and, and the people, they were like, Hey, can you just pull up a little bit? We'll have to bring you something. We'll have to bring it out to you. Okay. So, uh, the, the layout was really bad. Uh, but I pulled up and, and he was just running his mouth and he actually waited. He waited for, for us to leave because at the, at the end of the parking lot there. And so I pulled beside him, rolled down my friend's window and I said, I apologize. And I just, Boop. Let him, but told him what I thought about him and how rude he was and told him he was number one in my book. <laughs> oh my gosh. And that, you know, maybe he needs to practice patience because, you know, the world doesn't revolve on his time. And, you know, what are you going to do? Be mad at, be mad at the setup of the drive through Hello. <laughs> So, I mean, all this just came out like really smooth and just blah, 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 here it is. It's out. My friend was in shock. Her jaw dropped. She looked at me. I rolled the window back up and then left. And she's like, I can't, oh, all the years I've known you, I've never heard you talk like that. She, and I was like, what are you talking about? <laughs> I can't. <laughs> it's okay. I was like, I just had to release it. I just had to share with this gentleman. He shared with me. He was so nice to share with me. I thought I would share right back with him, you know, and just let him know what a complete ass he was being. And so <laughs> she, she went and told, let me tell you, her family, she told other people who knew, who knew us, the story and they wouldn't believe her. They thought she was making it up going, no, not Tiffany. And I'm like, what? Really? But that's, that's me. <laughs> that's me. That's authentic me. That's authentic me. But I, it was so funny. I got, I was just got a kick out of how nobody would believe her, <laughs> you know, because they, they, and then I was like, no, no, stop. She is telling the truth. She's absolutely telling the truth. This person upset me. So it was funny. <laughs> anyway, okay, I can see Mickey, Mickey, Mickey. Hello. Oh, Mickey, you're so fine. Thank you so much for joining the show, Mickey. <laughs> loves the way, loves the truth, loves the light. Absolutely, Sandy. Woohoo! And oh, I love that. Yeah, welcome each other. Hello, Mickey. Hello, Sandy. Uh, that's great. And and so we all have stories like that, right? And I, not I don't support road rage at all. Um, but it's we, we can express ourselves too. And I mean, just when someone's just being a complete butthead, come on. <laughs> Even in public, we're standing in line and someone's just going off on this poor service clerk who's just doing their job and someone just goes off. Are you just going to listen? Are you going to say, excuse me, really? Hello? <laughs> Tone it down. Um, we're, we're, we're going to try to, um, just let the person know that, uh, they don't need to be that way. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, yeah, absolutely. People come into our lives for certain reasons. Our angels have all different ways of teaching us. Absolutely. We do. Um, glad. Nice to be here. Woo, nice to have you sitting in sacred circle with us. So, uh, Julia, it's funny how that song will forever be on our minds when we see that name. I know, right? Mickey. <laughs> it is a catchy song. <laughs> Sorry, Mickey, if you're so tired of hearing that. <laughs> so, uh, um, okay, Mickey. Oh, a message for me. How sweet. There's a thin, white-haired woman older behind you. Um, like in a white robe. Ooh, very nice. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yes. I'm grateful. I'm grateful. Oh, it's all good. Okay, good. Because I don't want to offend you. We're having fun here, Mickey. And, and you know, 
it's fun especially if they're songs and music great right? <laughs> <laughs> kind of lets you know the age if we quote songs from the 80s, but oh well. <laughs> Some songs are just classic, no matter from what time frame. Absolutely. So, oh my goodness, look at the time. All right. So, how what I thought a master guide, yes, most definitely, um, that with the white robes on, uh, immediately it, it is one of um, the... Um, circle of light and it's it's now there's a fine line i know i've said this before between angels and aliens we all do have alien guides don't let that scare you they're for our highest and greatest uh always make sure that who you're communicating with is for your highest and greatest okay because uh you just you need to put that out there High vibrational beings are the only ones you want to communicate with where you're getting advice and guidance from. Absolutely. Okay. Um, so definitely make sure. Definitely make sure. Um, yeah, music does hear us. I'm late that person. Excellent. Okay, so Sila is her name. Oh, beautiful. Thank you so much. I'm grateful for that message. Thank you. And I probably I butcher name, so if I'm saying it wrong, I'm sorry. <laughs> Hello, Victoria. Sila, Sila. They're very nice. I'm sitting with that, Mickey. That feels very good. Thank you so much. I'm grateful for that. And as a matter of fact, you know, I know you're very gifted, uh, Mickey. All of you are. Let me tell you, all of you are. I used to teach a um, psychic medium course, a psychic medium uh training um a development course thank you psychic medium uh, in developing course i i used to to have that now i took it off because this was something that was channeled to me like four or five years ago so i sat down and and put this course together and then i asked recently for an update and i heard take it off done it's outdated now whether we don't need an update just by coming together like this, you have a format with your shows and we're all sharing and we're all interactive. Why not have a weekly intuitive test for the viewers? Just something fun to do, just to show you. We all are born with these abilities. It's just whether or not you want to activate them. Uh, here's the thing is in this, we are absolutely ascending from 3d to 5d we have more dna strands being activated more light is coming into our dna and into our bodies and so our gifts and abilities are being activated ready or not here it is <laughs> so i thought i'd give you a test and i'll give you one every week if you like you don't have to participate if you don't want to and there is no right or wrong answer, okay? There is no right or wrong at all. So what I would like for you all to do is to, there is pain in my body. I hurt myself in the last week. I'm not going to say any more. If you want to do this, who wants to do this? I want you to scan my body or go intuitively uh, use your intuition and pick up the area of my body or the specific spot on my body where I hurt or maybe where I'm putting off inflammation, the heat. Where am I putting, where in my body? Go with your first impression. Just put the comments. Go. Wow. Okay. Come on. There's more, Mickey, 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 Mickey. <laughs> so, absolutely, I wanted to tell you. Yeah. Yes. You know, you're all right, but I'm going to tell you, Mickey, 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 uh, 
I just love the name. I'm sorry. I just love it. It just da, 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 makes me burp. Yes, you're feeling the energy. Good, good, good. Burping. Some people burp, sneeze, or fart. <laughs> yes, I know. But, you know, it's got to go through your body somehow, right? So, uh, Mickey, what? I've got to find the comments here. They're going so fast. Here we go. Okay, so. Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. Right side and in the back. Yes. Yep. Yep. Make it right on, right on, uh, mid to lower shoulder and back. Maureen, very yes. <laughs> um, Julia, left tip. Yes, I'm going to tell you why. Your back, left leg. All right. So when we're off balance, all y'all are just all right. When your body gets off balance, it feels it all in different areas. But I did, I did something, um, and we're so active. How many of you get bumps and bruises and don't realize, and don't realize that we have, um, where where we can remember where we get these bruises from? Oh my gosh, because you're just so active and whatever, right? So did you fall down? I must have, Julia. That's what I I am um, getting. I must have fell down. But anyway, it's. It is the right shoulder, and it hurts from the front to the back, and um, the the joint it pops. Oh. Woo! Anyway, I am um, I take all natural things, natural anti-inflammatories. I'm pumping up my immune system, and I know that I just have to be careful, and and it will heal. I know that it is healing. I give myself healing, and you know what? Sitting in sacred circle with each and every one of you, we're all giving each other and receiving a healing this evening as well. So now when you're off balance in one part of the body, like right here, the right, right? So my left is going to um, feel that and try to over accommodate for it as well. So um, most definitely. Excellent. I'm so happy. Each and every one of you. Yay. Yes. Balance is the key, Sandy. Absolutely. It is. It is. Um, thank you, Sin. Thank you, Mickey, for sending that healing. Thank you all, all of you. Just, you know what? Just put that love out there. I feel the love. Love is healing. It very, it, it very much is. Oh, gets me so happy. Okay, let me take a sip of water. Hope you're all staying hydrated. Drink plenty of water. All right, so the ones who are here and are ready for some messages, here we go. Listen, I, I don't need cards to give messages intuitively. Um, I like to do it, um, like to do it because this is, yeah, I feel like it is a joint, Sandy. Um, and thank you, Sheila, sending love. Uh, because I, I like to show you visual things, too, while this is um, TV and, and video. I pull cards for you as well, so you'll get even more. Uh, oh, thank you, Maureen. Okay, thank you. Well, you know what? You all passed your first test. Yay! <laughs> so here's the instruction, and then y'all can start putting them in the comments, and I'm going to go through them. There's three decks to choose from. Of course, you'll get the, the, the message that's being channeled. But you will also um, have a choice of, <clears throat> you have to tell me which one you want. Dragon deck. You want a dragon card, a dragon message, a message from your dragon by uh, uh, Diana Cooper. Also use, this is an older, older one. Uh, the Angels of Light by Diana Cooper, an angel card. So you either want a dragon card or an angel card or... Those who watched last week got a DNA activation card or a DNA activation card. What DNA is being activated? This will trigger an activation for you. It's like in a two-minute initiation. It's very strong. So choose which one. So when you put your question in, either put you want DNA or dragon or angel in your question. All right? Because it lets me know what card you want me to pull for you. 
what deck and then your question or I can just pull a card and that can be the message too that pulls from there but if you have a specific question you can ask a specific question so let me know again DNA dragon or angels all right and those of you who got your DNA at the end of the show let everyone know how much you how did you react from it you know um from last week a very powerful huh all right uh, okay so i'm going to go through yep, yep, I put the dna ones on your phone yeah absolutely good 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 um okay let me, let me go back here and see ooh, 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 the test. okay so mickey angel of light i'm gonna put this up so everyone will know which one i'm working on here so for Mickey, 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 Angels of Light card. And this is more, this is an older deck by um, Diana Cooper. This is, um, I, I, it's beautiful. There's not a lot of artwork. It's just the message, the Oracle message, which I think is just beautiful. Angels are just beings of light, right? So, um, ooh, okay. So Mickey, Beginnings. Life is a series of cycles and the time of rebirth is indicated for you. This may mean a new phase in a relationship, the germination of a fresh idea, or the development of qualities in you like laughter, light, or hope. Um, it's a total change. Don't be afraid to let go of the familiar, for the new cannot enter until the old and outworn has departed. Your uh -huh. angel guidance is to accept the new, for it will become the new for it will be welcome when it arrives. Birth is a vulnerable time, vulnerable time. The fragile life force needs to be protected and nurtured within you. Ask the angels to guide the new beginnings in your life safely to maturity. And what I like about these is there's an affirmation too. I welcome and nurture the new in my life. And say this three times, Mickey. I welcome and nurture the new in my life. I welcome and nurture the new in my life. That's good for everybody. Okay, so Mickey, I did, you know, most definitely, I, I hope you, you do this on a professional basis. Um, you are a very powerful healer and messenger and divine channel. And even if you don't, even if you're not a holistic health practitioner or you don't do this, uh, you share your gifts, shine your light, as long as you're sharing it with everyone. That's key right there. Bingo! <laughs> right? All right. Um, so I hope that that has helped you, Mickey. Um, you, you're on the right track. It's just more growth and more expansion. That's what's coming for you. Or that's what's happening, not coming. It's happening now. All right, so Wendy wants a dragon call. Yes, I love these dragon cards. Still learning them all. It's so fun. And they're just beautiful pieces of art in this deck. These dragons are just oh, so powerful. And the pictures, it's... Yeah. All right, so dragon, please. Yeah, this is for Wendy. Uh, Wendy is very powerful another powerful healer and, and um, channeler, psychic medium. She's another, we have a lot of them and, and who are watching, I think this is beautiful. We all are very powerful, stepping in our power, helping each other to grow. Um, ooh, all right, you've got the gold and silver violet flame dragon. Transmutes the old around you with wisdom and grace. It's time for transmutation magic, for transmutation, sorry, magic and healing. Offer service under grace, gold and silver, violet flame. So you are most definitely a healer. So you um, understand what the violet flame is. Yeah, I know you use it. Uh, let me see. I took myself out. I can't see um, if y'all can see this or not. Let me just do some more checking here okay yeah there we go it's a beautiful beautiful card i'm trying to get the glare i'm trying to hold it just right too so all right so that's your dragon wendy 
Yeah, beautiful, beautiful. Wow, silver and gold violet flame. Whew. Powerful, powerful. So, you know, even though it, the healers, if you have been attuned to a modality, and even if you haven't been, we're all being attuned and initiated, okay? We, we really are. Uh, okay, deck three, Maureen, I do believe, is the DNA card. These are powerful. <laughs> so I'm going to pull what DNA for you, and this is for you, all right? Which, which one that Maureen needs? This is for Maureen. I, I do recommend, be very careful with this. If it's not for you, you can look at it, but don't concentrate on it. Like when I pull for Maureen, I want you to, I'll give you a moment. I would like for you to actually take a screenshot, if you can, of the screen so you can sit with that symbol. Let, you know, sit with that symbol um, and for the next week. All right. So, all right. So here we go. Um, and this is, a, this is a very powerful, I can let you know who the, who wrote this is Jean Adrian. Jean Adrian, but if you would like to have more information on this, just please message me through my website, whitesagewoman.com, or a private message here on Facebook, and I'll give you all the information on any of these decks in case you missed them. All right, if you want any more information, just feel free to message me, and I'll let you know who they are by and how to get them. All right, so uh, Maureen, a DNA activation card for Maureen. What you need, air, 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 air. Whoo, breathing, I feel the lungs. Deep, deep breath, air, air, air. This, the element air carries in the life force energy. With this activation, you increase your absorption of the nourishment available in the now. Air, 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 air. Hold on, I'm going to take um, um, you this name off so you can. Here you go. So take a screenshot if you can. Let me try to get it straight. Uh, Maureen, take a screenshot. If you can't take a screenshot, remember the keyword. Message me and I'll take a picture for you. But you've got the AIR card. The AIR DNA activation. AIR. Okay? So sit with that symbol. Do some deep breathing. And uh, see how that feels for you. And get back with me and let me know. How that works for you. Um, Julia put her DNA card from last week on her phone. Very good. All right. Anthony would like to have the Angel of Light card. So a message for Anthony Walking Crow. Woohoo! Oh, uh, yeah. This is great. You know, we're, we're all giving and receiving messages and healing. This is like the best healing share <laughs> live ever uh, all right every time we get together right okay so playing a card for anthony rodriguez Ooh, archangel uriel uriel comes to you works on the ruby ray which is made up of purple and gold the ruby ray it is the ray of wisdom and spirituality you are blessed to attract this angel card, for he will bring you serenity, love, tranquility, and peace. You and your turn are invited to spread these beautiful qualities to others, and I know you will. Uh, connecting with Archangel Angel Uriel will enable you to aspire to oneness with all humanity. This is a high state of grace which will bring you freedom and joy. Visualize yourself in a purple and golden cloak and invoke Archangel Ural's help to raise your consciousness. So here is your affirmation, Anthony. I am one with everyone in peace and serenity. I am one with everyone in peace and serenity. I am one with everyone in peace and serenity. And now you know what? We're turning the I am's to we are's. This is for all of us. We all are one with everyone in peace and serenity. Ah, 
That's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, you, you still have, this is a year of um, traveling for you, more traveling, just more opening up, more opening up. All right, so Sandy would like to have uh, an angel card as well. Sandy, good choice. Angels are so, oh, they're such a high vibrational beings, and connecting with them is just pure love. It really is. Oh, yeah. Okay, Sandy, Sandy, Sandy. So Sandy, you've got some new, you've already beginning a new cycle too. Some things really changing in your life. Um, acknowledgement, acknowledgement. Look after yourself by acknowledging your desires and needs and taking steps to meet them. Examine and note your gifts, your talents, and achievements. When you accept all aspects of yourself, you feel centered and confident. Then you can genuinely acknowledge others. Become aware of and nurture the good qualities of the people in your life so that they feel relaxed and happy in your presence. This is talking again, the authenticity. Recognize who you truly are. You are an evolved spirit in a human body. When you acknowledge your spiritual dimensions, you will align with your true self and your spirit will soar. It's beautiful. Your authentic you, you're, you're doing it. You're stepping in and embracing. And so your affirmation is, I acknowledge who I truly am. I acknowledge who I truly am. I acknowledge who I truly am. Isn't that beautiful? Woo. Nice, nice. All right, Sandy, just keep doing what you're doing, sweetheart. All right. Uh, yes, Wendy, you got the DNA cards now. You love it, right? So you get the deck. It's, it's 144 cards. It's a huge deck. Um, they're very powerful. You, and you, I pull one. I pull a, a DNA activation code for me every day. Uh, let me show you while we got a chance. This is. Oops. Use the deck cover. Let me take this off. Uh, for those who. Yeah, reconnecting. So you can even take these cards, put it in a Ziploc bag, put it under your drink, your water to activate and charge your water, maybe your plate of food. Very powerful. Very, very powerful. Um, so, okay, so Karen, Karen Jones would like a DNA activation card. Karen, and so let me get this DNA card for Karen. Mm -hmm. Purpose. Uh, we each play a specific part in the ascension process. You choose your role before birth. This activation opens the way for you to see clearly what you came here to do and stokes your enthusiasm. Again, your keyword is purpose in case you um, cannot take a picture of this card. Just let me know, but sit with this symbol. Screenshot this if you can. And sit with this got lights. There's more dots on here. I'm trying to get rid of those. Ah, trying, trying to get rid of the glare. Anyway, all right, I'll be still. Let's take a screenshot and sit with this symbol for the next week. Let me know how it feels, but it's your purpose. It helps activate your true purpose. <laughs> the authentic you. Woo! There we go. Wow. Um, doo, 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 doo. Uh, what will happen? Uh, okay, so please. Yeah. Um, of security and, security and me. Hold on. I'm trying to get through. Uh, everyone pulling a card for them. So um, if you, if you, I need a specific question, don't just say I need some advice because we could be here all day. It's too general. Um, so you have to, it has to be specific and right on because he's got to be fast. And the guides, the angels and guides and light beings answer very quickly when you're specific. If it's too broad, it's, uh, okay, what will happen of Shakuri and me? To what will happen between you two. All right. This is 
Uh, I need you to look at this because they take me to the upper dimensions. Your energy is already bound and your energy will just get stronger, weaving like the figure eight, stronger, stronger, stronger. Um, and even if the, there's challenges, it's just, it's just going to get stronger. The bond between you two is going to get bonder, whether it's in the physical realm or in the higher realm. But it's just, that's all I'm getting. It's all they're showing me is that it's just going to keep getting stronger and that you value the reason of that relationship. Okay. And please keep valuing and honoring it. All right, Jenny, uh, angels. All right, that's full of her. Jenny, Jenny, Jenny. Let me see the first thing. Jenny. Oh, that, the next three people want angel cards. Okay, so Jenny, mm -hmm. let's start with you, Jenny. Um, detachment, detachment. So according to spiritual law, you can have anything your heart desires. However, if your happiness, sense of security, or feeling of power depends on someone or something else in your life, then you are attached to that person or thing. And it is a chain what binds you to the lower frequency and keeps you stuck. So your guidance is to ask the angels to help you um, disconnect, unhook from the people that you are tied to. We can be people, in situations. All right, when all of these attachments are released, you can no longer be manipulated emotionally. This helps you to reclaim your power and be genuine. So your affirmation is, I release everyone and everything. My spirit is free. I release everyone and everything. My spirit is free. I release everyone and everything. My spirit is free. Now, I also like to take this in another direction as, as well. What I'm being shown is, is we can visualize unhooking like fishing hooks off of us, off of our energy, off our aura, off of our physical bodies from others who are trying to stay attached to us. We un unhook it, unhook it. You have to hook it somewhere else. Don't leave it. Whip it around to hook right back on you will hurt someone else. So what you want to do is visualize hooking it to this divine light, to the source. And the source will know how to balance and take care of that energy. Same respect is also now asked to unhook any um, situation or people that you are hooked on to. Because we do that. We hook on. So now let's take our hooks off in all fairness and to balance it out. It's only fair, right? So there you go. So that's a lot of um, unhooking and uh, working on you, <coughs> stepping more into your power. It seems to be the main common three theme tonight, right? So Sheila would like to have an angel card. All right, Sheila. Thank you, everyone, for staying with me. Stay in tuned. All right. Ooh, okay. Wisdom. Wisdom. Wisdom, Sheila. Knowledge is learned, but wisdom is the divine prompting within. Absolutely. Divine wisdom. Your angel guidance is to connect to your to your still quiet center, the sacred heart center, and listen to the wisdom of your soul. Then you will take decisions and act from your own infinite self. When wisdom Life takes on a new perspective. With this wisdom, life takes on a whole new perspective as dramas and fears become insignificant in comparison with the magnificent of the magnificence of the overall picture. So walk your path in life as one of the wise ones with the wise ones and all will revere and respect you. Your affirmation, dear Sheila, is I listen to my wisdom. I listen to my wisdom. I listen to my wisdom. Beautiful, beautiful. Leave that with you. All right. So Sandy would like to have an angel card. All right. Um, Sandy. All right. So, oh, wow. This one just fell out. I, okay. Kindness. 
Um, here, this is opening in order to be kind. You must open your heart to the gentle qualities of caring and compassion. Be kind to yourself. Don't forget yourself. Have reasonable expectations and give yourself due praise. In order to nurture the gentle quality of kindness, cherish yourself. All right. So you must do that. Your rewards will be in a sense of inner peace, warmth, and love. Your affirmation, I am kind to myself and others. I am kind to myself and others. I am kind to myself and others. It's easy for you to be kind to others. We have to remember ourselves in that equation. I am kind to myself. All right, Sandy, um, continue to, to love yourself. And we all have insecurities from time to time. And we just need to address it. Don't ignore it. Address it. Acknowledge it. Okay, I'm working on it. And have that kindness and love for yourself. Um, if you're doing too much, Sandy, it's like you need to take a day off every week just just, just for you, all right, and um, do something you like to do. You don't know what to do. This is where you get to learn who Sandy is and her authentic self. So uh, make sure you're taking some time. They say a day to yourself, Sandy. All right. Um, Julia. Yes, angels, 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 angels. All right, Julia, I see you're still searching on where to live and, and have explored a lot of options, which is good, 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 good. Uh, communication is your card. The angels remind you that being spiritual is about being genuine and honest. When you speak from your heart, others feel the resonance of truth and trust you. Talk positively or talk in a balanced way. Focus mm -hmm. on um, the things in your life that's going to make you feel happier and healthier. Communication is a two-way process. Listen with interest and respond openly. This will improve all relationships. So right now, it's it, they're talking more about their relationship with Source because you've really been working on your intuition. So remember that two-way. Praying is asking. Meditation is listening. So we want to make sure we have that that open dialogue both ways, all right? Always keep the channels of communication open. Be a bridge to others' hearts and minds. And ask your angel to step into your aura and communicate in a higher way through you. You have to trust that. The angels are not going to hurt you. They can be so close. Step into your aura and help you. And let me tell you, it's very powerful. So your affirmation, Julia, is I communicate clearly and honesty. Honestly. <laughs> I communicate clearly and honestly. I communicate clearly and honestly. Ooh. Nice. All right. Um, have any messages? All right. Anthony, you want a dragon card? Anthony, believe in yourself. That's the first thing I'm hearing from you, Anthony, is believe in yourself. Um, and don't try so hard. Don't try so hard. Yeah, just ease up. Believe in yourself and ease up on yourself because you're very hard on yourself, even more so um, than your wife even realizes. You're very hard on yourself, so ease up. All right? And believe in yourself. Um and allow, relax, let things just happen. Um, you have oh, a lot of purple tonight. You have a lilac fire dragon transmutes through the power of divine love. Open up to the transcendent love and enlightenment. Purity of heart brings peace, hope, and joy. When you relax, this is what I'm saying, you've got to sit back and you relax. You're very tense. It's not... Um, you know what you want, and when you start to control or have this, go over this list of control, worry too much, sit back and relax and allow this purple, this lilac fire dragon to come through, all right, and help you. And the purity of heart brings peace, hope, and joy. Purity of heart. Ah. <sighs> All right. So 
when we worry and we have fear, that blocks us. We're so much up here that blocks us from here, from our sacred heart center. All right? So I just want you, when you relax, all right, good. All right, so Anthony, how soon will I be on uh, the road? How soon will you be on the road? You will be, and I know I already pulled an angel card for you. Um, I'm here in March or April, March and April. I mean, really soon you can be on the road. And it's going to start like you're going to be gone most of the summer and maybe into the fall. It, it depends. Most definitely spring and summer, fall is still being worked on because these are more connections that you make when you're gone than spring and summer. Okay? So, uh, all right. So, I already read for Anthony and, and Jenny. A uh, health issue dragon, please. Yeah. Luis, you worry too much. That's the first thing I'm hearing is you worry too much. Knock it off. <laughs> health issue. All health issues are a dis-ease in your body. You're not taking care of something. You're not addressing situations that need to be addressed. You're not releasing what needs to be released. Okay? So let's take care of this uh, by being honest with yourself, honest with your feelings. And the dragon you get, oh my goodness, is the Norse god Thor. Thor's red, black, and gold dragon protects you in the time of change. A time of rapid transition and transformation. Relax, you are safe. So healing. All right, so it's interesting with Thor and, and the Norse. So it's your lower chakras um, that need to be healed. I'm going to show you a close-up of this dragon. Your lower chakras. That's the fear, the survival instinct, the worry. No, you need to relax and let... Imagine this golden white light shooting through from your back through your stomach out that way and taking everything that is not uh, for your highest and greatest out, removing any disease and illness from your body, removing worry and fear. All right. You are very intuitive. You might have limited physical sight, but your intuition sight is very strong. Okay, trust that and use it again. You, you were raised better than that. <laughs> That's what I'm hearing from your loved ones on the other side. You were raised better than that. Don't worry. You know what to do. Trust, trust, trust. All right. Uh, let's see. Yes, rebirth is beautiful, Sandy. Uh, I'm trying to make sure. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. I want to make sure that I get everyone before I sign off here. Uh, Kimberly Angels. All right. Let me pull a card for Kimberly. And thank you, everyone. Be sure to, you are commenting. Make sure you please like and share. I can share this, this show. Um, I can share the page, Goldilocks Productions, and tune in. We have a couple more live shows like this um, Transformational Sacred Drum Medicine show on Tuesdays at 4 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, the uh, Magical Journey Show with Reverend Brian Rawls on Wednesdays at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. So, all right, this is for Kimberly. What message is Kimberly like? Uh, messages for Kimberly. Kimberly, a move. First thing I hear is a move. There's a move that's, that's taking place. I'm leaving one place to the next. Um, discipline. An unruly dog is a hazard to itself and others. The animal which has learned discipline and obedience can be trusted and will, will loyally and lovingly serve its master. It's then allowed off its lead. Through discipline comes freedom. The master you are called on to obey is your higher self. Please, it's not calling you a dog. Please don't take that wrong. <laughs> they want you to listen to your higher self. That inner wisdom. You came to earth on a mission and only self-discipline will enable you to fulfill it. Tune in and ask your angels for their help and support so that your life becomes happy and rewarding and divinely directed. Discipline is the key to fulfilling your destiny. 
your affirmation. And I always like to say these affirmations three times, the power of three. Self-discipline brings me freedom. Self-discipline brings me freedom. Self-discipline brings me freedom. To be free, Kimberly. All right. Uh, you need to make a physical move to be free. Don't um, let fear hold you back and keep you a slave, a prisoner. All right. Okay. Uh, okay. So, Tammy, what does my angels want to tell me? Angel card, please. All right. Tammy. Tammy, Tammy, Tammy. Beautiful Tammy. I'm glad you got the new car. Yay, because you'll need that. And uh, I do see a baby seat in the back seat. Sometimes I'm off of my timing. Now, I could say the end of the year. I, I do feel it's the end of the year when you find out. But I said this last year, and it could be this year. It's the end, it's the end of the year. Sometimes I see a year or two out. You have other health issues that you need to take care of first. And that's fine. It, you're, you're taking care of yourself, paying attention to your body. All right. And that's what is needed. Um, honesty, and this is uh, honest with yourself. When you're honest with yourself, your aura is crystal crystal clear. Everyone knows when they are, are with you and feels totally safe. They know that you're a safe place to go to. Um, the angel suggests you to look within and purify any murky thoughts and feelings. This is where our disease comes from. We do it to ourselves. We activate negativity and fear. When we are totally honest with ourselves, you behave with integrity and dare to be open, for there is nothing to hide. People respect and trust you. As you radiate honesty, and you know what? And it has nothing to do with other people. This is honest with yourself. You got to be honest with yourself. Stop lying to yourself. Um, and your affirmation is, I am honest in thought, word, and deed. 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 Take that. The lying to yourself is letting the fear get out of control. All right? Don't worry. Don't let the fear do that to you. Okay. So who would we have here now? Um, Sheila with the angel card. All right, Sheila, Sheila, Sheila. All right. Sheila, I don't know if you take care of kids, toddlers. I see a bunch of little kids around you. I don't know if you have your kids or there's just a lot of kid energy around you. Um, you're very good with children, whether you're a teacher or a mentor. Um, uh, cure. <laughs> And as I say this, right, so I pull the curiosity card. See life through the curious eyes of a child, and you will discover a never-ending source of happiness and excitement. Curiosity keeps you alive, interested, and interesting. The angels are inviting to be curious about yourself. Okay, your inner child, your inner child. Start exploring who you are, and you will grow personally and spiritually. That's great. Be curious about the wonderful universe in which you live, about the angels themselves and the role in their divine plan. The radiance of your delight in life will illuminate you. Your affirmation, Sheila, is, I explore the wonder of life. I explore the wonder of life. I explore the wonder of life. That's beautiful. Woohoo! Yeah! Childlike, that curiosity. Um, you're most welcome, Wendy. All right. Uh, Victoria, what card did you want? Um, yes, Wendy. Yeah, I love the cards. They, thank you, Maureen. Yeah. I'm an air sign Aquarius angel. Yeah, there you go. See? Exactly what you need. Uh, oh, Sandy, my kitty feels your energy. Wow. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, yeah. And, and I don't know if you listened to the beginning of the show, Sandy, um, but Bobcat is a spirit animal. And all the big cats, uh, even though I don't have cats, uh, we have wolf packs, <laughs> we have dogs. But um, they're the 
big cats are always present here, a, a lot of them. And I have an interesting uh, this little something to share real quick is that, um, so I have this tiger statue in our foyer, and I've always like, um, assigned it with um, protection, for protection. So uh, we've always had dogs. And I, I remember bringing, when we brought home one dog, Apollo, who's now on the other side. Uh, but Apollo would, was fearful of going into the foyer until I, I caught on to what was happening. And I sat Apollo down. He wouldn't want to go in the foyer at all. And I introduced the tiger, which I named Tigger, Tigger and Apollo. And I was like, Tigger Apollo is here. He is another protector. Okay. And so you two were to work together. Ever since then, he was, you know, at that, that, after that, he was fine. And he, and he liked to sleep and stay in the foyer area. Um, except for nighttime, it was you know, but he would jump on bed with us. But isn't that a beautiful? It's like even though it's a statue, we still have um, our spirit animals, our power animals are very real. Their energy, and that's beautiful that your kitty feels the energy. The cats are so attuned and in alignment with healing and with energy. Um, all beings are, but I feel like like. Cats are just right up there and really, really feel it. Um, so another purple card. I know, right, Julia? So, wow. If you have time, I'm ready for a relationship in my life and new beginnings and new doors, or is it past love? Okay, this is what I'm getting for you, Seer. And thank you so much for joining in. And um, I'm probably going to be wrapping it up. You're going to be the last message maybe that I give here is... You are ready for a relationship. What is holding you back from relationships in this life is a past life love. Is a past love that you need to break the vow. Not break the vow. You need to release that vow. You're stuck in a vow you made to somebody in a past life who's not here now. This is... You know, I understand and love marriage vows, promises, and da, 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 that we all make. But you think about all the past lives, all the relationships you have in your life. And, and it's like, and then marriages. It's like, oh my gosh. We want to talk about hooks in us. Oh my goodness. Oh, you know, or we'll look like, what was that horror guy, Pinhead, you know? <laughs> all these attachments and all this stuff on us. Uh, that's what we look like. It's something like that. Release, release, release. Um, without dishonoring. And you can do that. Doesn't mean that you cheapen or lessen the love of that past life. It's it's not serving seeing you. It's not serving you in this life at all to be stuck and holding on to something that is outdated. And it's not helping you now. So you will open up more to a new relationship and it will come to you. Um, you have some more unhooking and clearing to do. All right. And releasing, release that past love and that it's okay. The person is, is not on this earth plane. That past love is on actually in another dimension. Uh, all right. Um, does not want you to be bound or feel like trapped or chained to them like that. Okay. You do still connect with each other in dreams and you have that memory and you're still connected, but by all means, don't um, prevent yourself and block yourself from having a relationship in this life. Okay. A very happy relation relationship. So work on that. Um, thank you. Thank you all. Uh, okay, Victoria, any deck of cards? Okay, I think Victoria might be the last one here. Hmm. I'm being pulled to do a DNA activation card for you, Victoria. Okay. Do, 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 do. 
All right. DNA activation cards. Uh, and so this for you is freedom. You get freedom. Now, Victoria, this is a card for you. Um, the DNA activation card. Victoria, you need to take a picture, a screenshot of this if you can. If you can't do that, remember this keyword, freedom. Freedom. Because what I will do is pull the card and take a picture for you. Just message me if you can't take a picture. All right? So this is DNA activation cards, freedom. Only when this aspect of Christ consciousness is active is one able to realize their connection to all that is. And only then can all attachments to everything be released. Complete freedom. Freedom, freedom, freedom. I want you to take a picture of this and sit with this, this symbol for the next week as it helps your DNA activation for freedom. Okay, Victoria? All right. There we go. Now, um, all right, let me see someone else. Says, Thank you for the inspirational talk while cooking. How do I get these cards? I, I, uh, um, I think the name is Lynn. I, I had actually used three different decks, so you've got to let me know. Private message me. You can contact me through my website, uh, whitesagewoman.com. Let me know what deck you're talking about. I, there's dragons, angels, and DNA activation. And if you want information on all of them, just let me know, and I'll send you the more information and links to how you can get all of them. Well, I do believe the angel card's an older deck. You might have to find them um, from a private collector. Uh, maybe, maybe not. Anyway. <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, let's see. Oh, that's nice. Thank you so much, Mickey, Mickey, Mickey. I feel it. I, I feel tingling in the sensation in my right arm, in the shoulder and the right arm. So thank you so much for that validation. Thank you. All right. Woohoo. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, spot on. Um. Resistance mm -hmm, mm -hmm. healing. Okay, thank you. Yes, thank you. All. I'm sorry. I don't mean to have dead air here. I'm still <laughs> reading all the messages. Yay! <laughs> um, okay, so um, Angel wants a DNA card. Yes, Angel. Um, I will pull a DNA activation card for you. Um, again, you'll need to take a picture of this, a screenshot, sit with this symbol for the next week. And all those who had them last week, the feedback of, yeah, it was powerful, it's great. But they went and even bought the deck, too, because they're very powerful cards. Yours is dis dis um, discernment. Discernment. This attribute replaces judgment with heart-centered choice. Heart-centered choice. Oh, that's beautiful. So if you can, Angel, take a screenshot of this. It actually it looks like to me like the ancient symbol of the sun. It's called discernment. Your keyword is discernment. If you can't take a picture of this, let me know through private message, and I will take a picture and get it to you. All right. So, let's see. We have had, wow, 35 minutes. Wow. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> so, thank you all so much. Uh, yeah. That's sweet. You carry the divine feline. Okay. Kimberly, let me give you some clarification. Does this mean I just need to move out of my house? You don't need to move out of town. You just need to move out of the house and neighborhood. Um, you can move across town. Um, you don't have to move out of the state. All right. Um, but you, you do need to put distance from that house. You just need to leave the house, that area. Okay. 
Um, thank you all so very much. You all are very, very special. If I didn't get to anyone, because sometimes I don't see all the comments, and I don't mean to do that, okay? Um, don't mean to miss anyone. So I'm scrolling through for one final thing here. Uh, yes, Maureen, I was married in many times in past lives while I never marry in this life. For those, exactly. For those who are fine, I don't want to be married. You may have been married so many times, have been so many relationships. Also to those that ha that don't want kids in this life because they've had a lot of kids in past lives. So we never know why someone chooses what they go through in life. So we have to be, again, observe observation, no judgment. So thank you so much. Oh, thank you, Tammy. Remember, God blesses us all every day. And thank you, Maureen. Thank you all so much. I'm going to sign off now. It's like I went over 40 minutes, but I was trying to get everyone, everyone in. Okay. Uh, yes, Seer, I did get to you. You may have to watch the show again to get your message. Uh, thank you. This is the first time in my circle. Thank you, Sheila. And I hope you come back and join the Sacred Circle every Sunday at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. I go as long, I go over an hour, you know. Uh, I go as long as it's needed because uh, I want to make sure that everyone, you know, as long as I can see the comments, <laughs> no, but I get to everyone. Uh, so we just go until spirit says we're done. Um, so here it is. Uh, Sheila's. Yes. Thank you for sitting in sacred circle with us. Invite everyone to sit in sacred circle with us. And um, I'll go through your website to get the cards. Uh, they're not on my website. I need you to message me and I'll give you the cards, okay? Or you can message me through the website, sure. Whitesagewoman.com uh, is the, my website. You hear my dog barking. <laughs> my wolf pack. Um, or you can right here on Facebook if we are friends or message me on the Gloria Box Productions page and I will get back with you that way as well okay many ways to get in touch with me and thank you everyone thank you so much um yes thank you all for sitting in sacred circle i am very honored and very blessed and uh i always say namaste and i mean that from the bottom of my heart <laughs> So may the obstacles to your flight be few and the blessings along your journey be many. <laughs>